Hey everybody, it's Brad. Um, I've got another Masterworks 3 video for you, and today I've been thinking about curves, and uh, specifically perfect curves. Um, we haven't made a whole lot of perfect curves in uh, my videos or in my classes. Um, I generally, when I'm um, creating artwork, I, right, I tell people to use the straight line tool because you can't really tell that much um, when when you're using straight lines instead of curves. But it occurs to me that um, that's not entirely true and that looking over some of the designs that I've made over the years, uh, you really can tell <laughs> that my that my outlines are uh, are not perfect curves when there's a curve required. Uh, so I started playing with the um, with the curve tools that they have in this and um, I'm going to share with you what I learned. Um, so for this exercise what we're going to do is we're going to start with a backdrop and I'm going to use one that is built into the program uh, so that everybody is going to have the same artwork to work with. We're going to go to the backdrop tool up here, left click on that, choose load backdrop and um, if you're not in this artwork folder by default, which if you've ever used your background, your backdrop tool, then you won't be. The way you get to this, everybody has this. If you have Masterworks, you have this folder. Uh, it's in uh, C Drive, Designers Gallery, Masterworks 3, Artwork. That's where this artwork is that we're working with. Okay, so we're going to go down, and the one I want to do, uh, any of these would really work. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, Line Art 11. This is what I've been uh, playing with today. Uh, hit open and it'll bring it up as a backdrop. Uh, so zoom in a bit so it it's fills your, your design space. And let me show you the difference um, between using the perfect curve tool and using the line tool. Uh, I'm going to go in and first I'm going to trace this with a line uh, the way that I kind of normally would do it. Um, you just left click and then you kind of left click along the line here. And I'm tracing all the way around this and I'm just staying right on top of the black. Okay, I'll even do this inside part, why not? Okay, and we're done. Alright, so this, here I'll move this out here so that we can see what we're working with here. This is perfectly serviceable. Um, I could apply a running stitch to this put it in 3D and that would be okay. Um, but especially if uh, if your design is larger, the larger it is, the more noticeable it is that you're using straight lines. Um, but it's, it's, it's not perfect. It's not like as organic looking as it could be. And if we needed to go back and make any adjustments to this, let me just put it back. <clears throat> if we needed to go and make any adjustments to this, like if I didn't have it perfectly on the line, I've got all of these click points that I've made that I have to deal with. Like right here, this one's not perfectly in the right spot. Um, you know, and I, I'd have all these line, all these dots to have to adjust. Um, so that's not really ideal. So I, I was playing with um, this tool called the Click 3 Curve Tool. Um, and it's pretty interesting the way that it works. Check it out. I'm going to trace the exact same area and it's going to take way less clicks. Just click on the click three curve tool instead of the line tool. And the way this works is every three clicks, basically, it generates a curve between where you've been clicking. So my first click I'm going to do in the same place here. Click there. And then I'm going to click at kind of the apex of the first curve, which this is the first curve right here, the, uh, the, uh, the top part of this little pinwheel. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click at the apex, so like right in the middle of the curve. See how I get a straight line from there to there? But then for my third click, I go all the way to the end and look how it curves. Now, it doesn't line up perfectly, but we'll ignore that for now. If I had actually clicked, if I had found the exact apex, then it would line up perfectly, interestingly enough. Uh, but okay, so we click there. Now we're going to do the same thing. Now, this last click is going to be considered the first click of my next three clicks. Okay, so this is number one, and then this is number two, and this is number three. Okay, see how we get a nice curve here? And then we're going to do the inside part two. So this was click number three from this curve. It's going to be click number one for this curve. So click number two, click number three. And look how I end up with kind of a straight line here. But now, when I want to go back and edit my points, I have much fewer points to deal with. We're going to go to reform up here. It's next to the select tool. We're going to go to reform, left click on that, and we see that there's only one, two, three, four, five 
points that I have to, to worry about. And there's actually two under here and two under here, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, so the way I'm going to go and get my points in exactly the right place is I left click in the reform tool on one of these nodes. I left click on one and it selects it. And look, we've got a little handle pops out here, two little handles pop out here and here, and a little handle pops out here. And what this is going to allow me to do is adjust my curve. So if I left click and drag, you can actually see kind of the ghost of the line. I'll do it exaggeratedly so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you can see the ghost of the, of the line and I just line that up with the black line that I'm going along the outline. Uh, so I'll click back on this curve here and I can adjust from here. We'll adjust both sides of the curve. You see how this is going to be useful uh, for the middle part. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to kind of where it was. But here if I click back on this we can see we've got our handles. I'm going to grab this handle and move it. And I can just kind of make fine adjustments. Now see how the handles all go away when I don't have a node selected and anytime you you click off you no longer have a node selected so if you want those handles you gotta click back on your um, the middle of your curve and when you're on the middle of your curve that's when you can adjust both ends of it so if I try to just click on one of these then I don't have all of the handles anymore right so you want to click on the middle curves to get all your handles Okay, so we got that one. I'm going to do this one on this side. Click here, and then we move this handle until my line lines up perfectly. We'll click again on the middle, and we'll move this until my line is lined up perfect. And if you can't get it just from the ends, then that means you got to adjust the middle. Okay, see how now that rides perfectly down the black outline? Now, what about this one in the middle here? This one, I'm going to have to adjust kind of the same way but I gotta twist this one see I wanna make this curve like this and it's making that twist effect okay and now I can go in and adjust the other ends of it here click on the middle again and adjust this one so that it lines up and now we've got our perfect curve let's go ahead and apply a run stitch to that and bring this out here so we can see it now this actually looks much nicer than before and with much fewer clicks. So when you get good with that um, with that three click curve tool you can actually save yourself a lot of time and you end up with better looking artwork. So um, I was pretty pleased with that. So that is uh, the three click curve tool. Now we're gonna do some more with this um, with this image so stick around for the next video.